Move up, it's easy. It's live, man. It's live. I'm seeing the psychosis and you got um, histories of damage. Do the, I guess what you call it, uh, an extensive study. <laughs> Definitely extensive. And um, looking at it, I'm not taking nothing, nothing, nothing away from no one. It's just the things that's offered. That's it, man. Even the dog probably would, you know, look the other way for it, you know. But as I'm looking into it, CPI numbers are going to be zero. Um, data is zero. Um, hackers is zero. Um, how does it all work? privacy policies and a bunch of other policies that I guess are more specific and not for all. And I would like to make all of those um, social uh, atmospheres possible for any and everyone without um, what you call it uh, enforceable war tactics from previous generations but it's used in a way now that socially it can be socially destroyed <laughs> quote unquote allegedly through the, the, these um, privacy uh, uh, man, I got an uh, NPA um Degree at the Democratic Bend through a um, possible possible screen of information that's floating around out there. Speaking of floating around information out there, um, the 75 point basis points that the Fed would like to inflict on companies, how's that working? Uh, it's not too well. Um, why? Because the price is still going up. You know, you could tell me your Inflation Reduction Act was something that was helpful, but then on the top of that, you got no one's going in there to these institutions without protection. Then you letting off gases and things of that nature, and it's seeping inside of the, the pores inside of the situation. But you know all of this stuff because you had more than enough time to study but you haven't had an extensive study as to the new situation at hand. And we would rather not even deal with it because it's so complicated that only the Democratic president can address. And I'm not going to address it because some people would like to inflict old situations on the previous generation. I don't mind, by the way. It's just, I see the irony of it all. And I also see what others don't. Which is, someone is trying to persuade something into something that was previously done. But it didn't work because something happened. <laughs> So if you want to go down that road, then go down it. It's just leave things to be freely to do whatever they feel like doing because that's what is taking place. You can't change something in a knife in it. Like, you know what I mean? If, if, if it's three more strikes and you're out and you want another 10 as <laughs> a bat in the knife in it, it's just you're changing the rules. Yeah. And then like I said, you bring up all previous 
situations to get a, uh, a forefront. Uh, if you want to go blackface, go blackface. Just don't involve none of the nigga credit situations into that. Because I'm about forwardness. And if you can't move the, move the ball forward, what are we doing, man? <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, man. No, more more news, news, news. But it's more or less about um, criminal activity of America. But I'm explaining that whole process in a way. This generation. Due to uh, different sections of um, policies, man. I'm trying to get a, a policy under one nation. Under God. <laughs> oh, so there are a lot of um, suspects in uh, other situations. Like I said, I can't get down to the nitty and the grit until, you know, you, you um, bring whatever it is that you want to bring to whoever is working with you. That's what I mean. As if, as if, if I got someone working with me, and I'm bringing some so-called information. And how's it information? We all working together. It's, like I said, I'm not into discrimination. It's not my thing. And I don't think others should probably do it either. But they got the mind on their own. It could be a subliminal discrimination action. It could be a whole bunch of stuff. Fun, special, like I said. Find special master in Trump's classified document case, not easy. Uh, like I said, man, you want to create some type of new structure under justice. And I'm trying to tell you, if you do that, you're breaking the bond within the justice system because it's it's putting an unprecedented strain on what you're supposed to be protecting, which is the civic citizens. <laughs> But you don't want to do none of that stuff. You'd rather make it seem as if they went off the rockets because you don't want to do the things necessary to create what you already created. You got to handle it or, how you say it, let it, let it be a free-for-all. It's just the land of the free, man. And with inflation, cost, and all of that stuff, it doesn't precipitate for not only the nigga crash, but other races around the world. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <sighs> Highly inches towards Historic first Massachusetts. As progressive gets. Oh man, Russia war in Ukraine, live updates. Like I said, if you go war there, you might as well be able to war anyway. Because it's the Soviet Union. And if the Soviet Union wants to go to war with anything in the place, what is the union for? Nah. If your union's gonna go to war against you. <laughs> Sheriff Deputy from Stockton turned. That was my fault. I'm sorry. You know what? When you have epiphanies and all that other stuff, it's kind of hard to explain. But when you're having that at the same time, someone doesn't want you to have epiphanies. Because they don't feel as though you the one. <laughs> Those epiphanies. Like I said, the psychosis of it all. I like to get down to the details of it, but I would like to have it broadcast across the world in a, in a public atmosphere other than something that's not giving me the views that I've been, I hate to say it, uh, that people are viewing into. Like I said, you, you, you would view in, but it won't show the viewers of how many people viewed in because of the specifics. Yeah. Like I said, man, discriminative is discriminative. And to uh, say that it's not a possibility that an individual can run for a nigga credit presidency under the 
federal guidelines in America would be beyond my um, political scope. It'd be, like I said, something that's causing for further uh, administrative actions towards policies that don't apply to individuals under freedom of justice. <laughs> it just doesn't add up. Uh, and so, if you want to, like I said, if, if your chess game is illegitimate and you think that you're going to win out of it, why play the game? It's not chess. <laughs> if you're fair view. But I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at the, the chess game and how people looking at life that way now. Do to something that I said before because the chess board is usually black or white. There's no between colors of that. So that's why I'm saying if it's going to be that way, you might as well just give them more freedom to do whatever they like. Because if you create your policy is this don't apply to everyone, like 40 year inflation. And um, what is it? What else is it? Um, student, what do you call it? Student debt loan for some, PPP loans for some. You weighing out your um, options. And I don't mind it. I'm just informing you of it. And like I said, you can't blame anyone for me because. That was an idea that a specific came up with. My idea is to social distance, wear a mask, get as many vaccinations inside the arms of her. Um, like I said, I don't know what's going on in the mind, body, and the soul. I haven't examined it. I haven't questioned it. I can't question everyone at once. I have to go through their own pre-examination of what COVID may be and how it may be to you. Oh, uh, fantasy football. So look at that, man. Another thing too, as far as um football, um, how do you say they want to get rid of it? Nah, man. Football is living for a very long time. I don't think it's going anywhere. And as far as trying to change the rules and uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh roughing the pass. Change it to something um, targeting the quarterback. Nah. <laughs> oh, man. No one is a target out here, man. Under the Negocratic banner. We all are humans under a civilization and the communities. Very underneath uh, political policy. I'm trying to get that political policy to the world so you can understand. I don't think they understand because of the scrutiny of the pandemic. They got them mind boggling. One minute you go to the store, the next minute the price went up, man. And then that leads to further competition because humans are only humans. They have the feelings. And if humans start to play on other humans' feelings, what type of society is that? Well, what type of community is that? <laughs> oh, man. This is just so much. Um, oh, yeah. The, the um, master's in law degree. Oh, man. No oh, one, no. Like I said, it's a lot of uh, cancellations as far as um, getting something on the table unless you, like, favorably. You know what I mean? Destructed or you have some celebrity to get inside of the judicial systems. <laughs> Cause like I said, if I can't get to that and explain it the way it necessarily needs to be explained and due to whatever someone else may be feeling, it's not justifiable under the constitution <laughs> oh yeah speaking of constitution like I said it doesn't apply to a specific thing that's what I'm trying to tell you you use the words 
flag. What? What is it? This one. <laughs> I'm trying to try to go to the bunch of things and all that. What, what is it? <sighs> I'm like, well, has any other have this more in their character of racism? Unjustifiably uncleared, pretty much. <laughs> and to go on thinking that it's clear, it's just, it's just a, uh, a backwards approach. Because you can accept something that will accept that policy. And you can disenfranchise something that don't want to accept that. That's why I said, man, to go against a policy made by a president under something that's created through, I guess, like I said, equal opportunity. You have the equal opportunity to become an equal president. And for anyone to tell me otherwise would be a discriminative act. On their behalf, not mine. <laughs> Not mine. And like I said, you can't tell me what I've studied and what I haven't. Because I can't tell you that either. So, I said I can accept all of that. But does it equal out the way that it should? That's why you got to create your own policies. You know, HRs and all. <laughs> Pentagon it, it, it questions Chief Talks Inflation Ukraine Vampires I, I don't want to call Ukraine a vampire or nothing like that man. I don't want to call them nations or countries or anything like that they all dealing with the same inflation it's just more or less understanding why you're going through the inflation it's I said generation it's like your fed said you want only 2% Every year, inflation. And I'm like, how could you predict that if humans are going at each other? Inflation will rise that way. It's like I said, the, the, the arty competition, that's why they won't even compete. Because I knew that I would create something that would be pretty much probably disliked. Because, like I said, I got the freedom to create. And to dislike the creation only leads to discrimination, man. And like I said, you created communities, you created guidelines, you created all of the all of the things. And I can't be mad at it because I'm not a discriminative person. <laughs> I'm a nigga crack. Underneath my own presidency. My own guidelines, which I follow some of your guidelines also, because I feel as though they right. You just gotta know the difference under the law. <laughs> under the law. Putin says sanctions are a danger to the world. Now, nah, man, like I said, that's part of the policies. The individuals that go against the UN, they can slap sanctions on them. I didn't go up against the U.N. I, I actually encourage the U.N. to keep doing what it's doing. But don't get distracted by these real, what you call it, publicity stunts, man. It's a publicity stunt. If you ain't getting nothing done for your countries and communities, what are you doing to change it for the better? <laughs> Else you just chasing your tail. That's why I created this. Nigga Credit Campaign. Uh, Nigga Credit Bureau of Investigations. You know, because it's been so long and so tired.
that organizations have been, what do you call this, like teeth. After a while, they rot. You know, it's like things. After a while, it rots. You got to renew it. Get some, some new materials. And from the looks of things, the materials seeping on the type of things, bro. Type of things, <laughs> type of things. Type of things. So I'm trying to change it for the better, not for the worse. And from the looks of things, man, some don't have patience to think that it can change for the better. So they would like to make their own situation seem better. But when they step outside of that situation, like I said, I don't want to deal with uh, grief. <laughs> they don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. It's not something that um, helps the humans as a community, as an uh, organization, as a, uh, a, um, a being. <laughs> <laughs> oh man for sure oh man uh, let's try to fix the floods and the um, situations at hand um, those communities are struck by uh, hurricanes and other things disaster um, try to come to some uh, equal give and take opportunities because otherwise I said you'd be at each other's throats for no reason because no one would really have the enjoyment that they think they deserve due to, I said, things feeling some type of way. I want you to feel some type of way. I want you to enjoy yourself because you're in a pandemic and that takes time. If someone's in a rush, I get the rush part. It's about uh, this global um, power structure that someone would like to create. But I see flaws in that also because it doesn't work for any and everyone. It only works for against those in charge at the moment. But then I'm thinking about after the moment. And with that being said, uh, Destruction of mind is a balance. And to imbalance another policy on another mind would be another act of discrimination. Not into none of that stuff. It uh, leads to destructivity. And I'm trying to build a new <laughs> every. With that being said, peace. I gotta go.